Before heading into the park, you should be linking your turns confidently and understand what smart style is. Ooh, careful, it's super icy. That's good. That's good? Yep, it's helping me with my rail and fun box riding. Okay. Just as you need a flat foot to uh, not slip on ice, you need a flat foot on a rail and a fun box to stay on it. Huh. As soon as I go up on my heels or toes, I start to slip. A 50-50 is a rail and fun box trick where you ride straight over the feature, keeping your body smooth and your base flat. We'll teach you the steps to master this basic park trick. Fun boxes come in many shapes and sizes. For this trick, you'll want to start with the most basic feature. Even more basic than that. Now we're talking. Draw a line in the snow or throw a ski pole or stick down and practice riding over it a few times. You want to set yourself up so your board rides over the middle of it. Keep your base flat and maintain good posture. Now as you glide towards the line, lightly hop on, then lightly hop off at the end. This will help prepare you for the real thing. Now this is a good beginner box. You want to find a box that's got a nice gradual ramp as a takeoff, either a ride-on or a small gap like this. The box is about one to two feet wide. It's one to two feet off the ground, and it's about five to 15 feet long. That's so that you have enough time to actually do your trick, but not so long that you'll stop and not make it to the end. The other thing you want to try to make sure you have, no ruts, a nice clean takeoff, and a nice clean landing and avoid ice for your first few times trying this because ice hurts to fall on. You can just charge right over it, but the best way to learn a 50-50 is to grab a friend or a coach and hold hands. That's right, hold hands. Ride up the takeoff and have your friend or coach guide you onto the box just so you can get the feeling. Now you want to keep your knees nice and bent your feet need to be completely flat. If you go up on edge even a little bit, you'll slip just like you did in the parking lot. You want to keep your shoulders parallel with your board, your arms nice and floppy at your sides. I mean, really pretend you don't have arms at this point. Don't do anything, especially fight the box. Just let it happen. If you feel that you're slipping off to one side, just let it happen and hop off early and ride away. Start above the box, high enough so you have plenty of speed to ride over it without running out of gas. Making too many turns can throw off your balance, so try not to make any turns five feet above the box. Set yourself up smooth because there isn't much you can do to correct once you leave the snow. While intimidating at first, more speed will make this trick easier. The faster you go, the less time you'll need to balance on the fun box, and the less likely you are to be thrown off by irregular, catchy spots. It's like trying to ride a bike slowly. Much more difficult than going fast. Line up your snowboard with the center of the box and once you get on, relax and let it happen. Concentrate on sticking your butt out. A friend told me this tip a while ago and it really helped me. Because the fun box has slippery plastic on top, you'll likely accelerate as you ride over it. Make sure to keep your weight centered over the board and avoid sitting back. Your body will go where your front hand points. Avoid getting off center by keeping it pointed at the end of the box. While it's very easy, the dismount is the thing that troubles new park riders most often. So what should you do when you exit the box? That's easy. Just treat it like any other thing you would jump off of. Keep your knees nice and soft. Give yourself a little pop to get in the air and absorb any of the impact with your knees to stay smooth. As you approach the end of the box, you'll want to hop slightly. This hop gives you control over your dismount. It's always better to put yourself in the air than to have the feature put you in the air. A 50-50 is no problem if you follow a few simple steps. First, ride over a line in the snow to practice the movement. Maintain your speed. Keep your base flat, knees bent, arms quiet, and stick your butt out. At the end, pop slightly and land with soft knees to absorb impact. Whoa! Whoa, careful, it's icy. Got to keep your feet flat. Nailed this trick. Now it's time to try a board slide.